Hello. Today I wanted to bring you an extremely important video that I believe people do not currently understand, and that is Magic Fine and Quantity on Gear. I wanted to make this video because there are a few extremely prominent members of the community that I believe are a bit chilling for Magic Fine every single season, and they don't really have a clue why they're choosing the items that they choose, as they haven't done the math. For reference, GGG does balance their game, and they have previously had quantity on rare items. That has gone legacy and been nerfed, and also these uniques that provide quantity have been nerfed. So GGG has done the math, and they believe the items that give quantity in-game are balanced enough to keep in the game. So by them not nerfing it more, they believe these items are balanced per se. But, again, you would think that these prominent members of the community, they're like, these items are broken, you have to use them, if you want currency per hour, you have to wear them no matter what, be all to end all, whatever. But my question to you is, now, which boots, the top or the bottom, will give you more loot per hour, more currency per hour, and thus, you could say, effective quantity? Now, some of you would say the top ones because it actually has quantity on them. But since I'm making this video, some of you would say the bottom boots because I'm going to give you an explanation to why the bottom boots have more quantity than the top ones, even though they don't have quantity. You'd be correct. The bottom boots have more quantity. <laughs> so here's the math. In the top right corner, I have some math that distributes the modifiers on the quantity boots. So obviously, these boots have 20 quantity. So that's an equivalent quantity of 20. Math checks out so far. For defense mitigation, I calculated this as the maximum number of resistances to cap out your resistances, because if you're dying every single map, you're not getting very much loot, so you have to typically, at least minimally, cap out your resistance. So since these boots have 42 resistance, it's going to be 42 out of 540, which gives you an equivalent quantity of 7.8. Since these boots do not have life or ES, it gets a zero. And since these boots do not give any DPS, it is a zero. And for movement speed, it is 20 out of 250, because I'm pulling out that a good build in general, at least for magic fighting or speed clearing T16 maps, you would want roughly 250 movement speed. So since this has a corruption, it's getting 20 movement speed out of the 250, thus in a quantity equivalent of eight. So, since quantity actually has diminishing returns on your gear, and typically people that would wear these 20 quantity boots also have Ventor's Gambles and a 20 quantity amulet, the diminishing returns of going from 40 to 60 is actually not 20% more loot, but it is actually 8.18% more loot compared to nothing, which I will be comparing it to better boots uh, underneath. But you add up those numbers, and I would say equivalently, these boots give you roughly 24 quantity. Now let's compare them to the better boots for magic finding. So the better boots obviously do not have any quantity. Defenses, they have 45 resistance, so that's an 8.3% equivalent quantity. Life in ES is getting an 8.75. DPS, since it gives Tailwind and some other stats, like Onslaught on Kill, if you need that. We are giving it a 10 quantity. And then this is where the biggest thing happens, is movement speed. So movement speed is really, 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 really good in the game, at least, or especially currently, since scarabs are so cheap and speedrunning maps has pretty much never been better. And since these uh, boots have like three or four mods that just give you a ton of movement speed, then these boots roughly give you on average 100 movement speed. So that's an equivalent quantity of 40. So the actual quantity is zero, but you're running around the map extremely fast and you have more life, so you never die. So you don't have to release, rebuff yourself, run back to the place that you died and then keep killing. And it has some DPS. The equivalent quantity of these bottom boots is 67, which in my math is three times better than the above boots which is pretty extreme, and I'm in agreement that that difference doesn't really compute very well. I mean, maybe you could see it, but three times as much is pretty significant. So most people would say, oh, well, magic find characters, they typically have headhunter, and or magic find characters, they have like a mirror bow or mirrors other stuff, so they don't really die ever, and they don't really need the DPS, so... I'll agree with them for this second example, and we will say that defenses and life on any items is worthless and will be valued at zero. So we'll go up to the top boots. 
The top boots have 20 quantity, and again, for the diminishing returns, it is only 8.18, and since defenses and DPS don't matter at all, movement speed still does, because you still need movement speed to loot stuff and to go to mobs, mob to mob. So now the new quantity amount is 16.18. And same thing for the bottom boots. The bottom boots do not give any quantity, and now it uh, gives zero defenses, zero life, and zero DPS, even though it does. For this example, we will not do that, but it still gives a ton of movement speed. So that is 40. So the new math says the bottom boots still give an equivalent 40 quantity, which is still equivalently twice as good as the above boots. So even though you may not fully 100% agree with the math that I've shown, I hope the logic that I display makes more sense. I have run hundreds and thousands of maps uh, very, very fast on fast builds, and the amount of loot per hour that I get is extremely high. Two different reasons. I'm efficient in running my maps. I have high movement speed and high DPS and high defenses. But also, I have previously produced a video a few days ago on I have an extremely strict loot filter. So while these magic find characters will be running roughly the same strategies as me, I will be getting way more loot because I will be picking up actual good loot and I'll be running maps twice as fast. And again, quantity on items gets a lot more value when your initial costs of the maps is significantly higher. So while I would agree the discrepancy between these two items would be significantly lower if you're running a divination card strategy where each map you put in costs 20 divines, the difference in between them would be pretty close. I haven't exactly run the math on that. But this is more of an example of like speedrunning, magic flying, tier 16, and or just your general tier 17 strategies. But if you have any questions, put them in the comments, and I'll get to them. Thanks.